Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, B.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. This morning I read from John 13, verse 47. Jesus says, If anyone hears my words and doesn't keep them, I do not judge him. For I didn't come to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and doesn't accept my sayings has this as his judge. You know, so many times we think about our connection with Jesus and we think about our relationship and we say, well, you know, Jesus is judge. Well, he's not. Jesus said he didn't come to judge the world. Another place he says he didn't come to condemn the world. He came to give the word of God to you. And you and I get the opportunity to reject that. Such a critical distinction because he doesn't send you to hell. You get to make a choice to believe him, follow him, and do what he says, or to do your own thing. I'm grateful for the fact that even when I do my own thing, he gives me an opportunity to come back to him. We talked yesterday about righteousness and the fact that righteousness isn't perfect living. It's striving to live right. And I'm grateful for that. It brings me to another thought. Always in my life, I, I demanded that people respect me. Probably because that's the way I was brought up. My life, the men that were around me demanded I respect them. And so I demanded respect from everyone around me. And I realized as I was growing that I could demand respect from a lot of people, but wasn't very well accomplished at it. I wanted that respect. I wanted people to honor me and, and treat me right. You know, if I walk in the room and I speak, they should listen. Or if I had a need, they should respect the fact that they, sh they should respect me enough to come and, and help me with that, right? Um, they shouldn't talk down about me, and they shouldn't talk behind my back. They should respect me. And it wasn't until I really started to understand what Jesus said here. If anyone hears my words and doesn't keep them, I don't judge him. I didn't come to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and doesn't accept my sayings has that as his judge. And I realized something. Me demanding respect, me expecting people to respect me, was ridiculous. Because while trust is given, never earned, respect, that's always earned. And it's never given. And the reality was I was demanding something that I hadn't earned. And as I started to live that righteous life, trying to live right every day, every minute of every day, not doing it right, but trying, then I started to see respect. And the more I tried to live that right life, the more I tried to hear Jesus' words and live them, the more I realized that I couldn't demand respect. And was actually a little surprised when I received it sometimes. Overjoyed on others. And the reality is, when we live our lives we need to remember that. This is Holy Week. It's the week where Jesus spent the entire last week of his life telling everyone, I want you to know God. I want you to follow me. He said this greatest of all commands. A new command I give you. Love one another. And he didn't just leave it there. 
with that period, love one another. He said, the way I loved you, the way I loved others, that's the way you should love. And people will know you're his disciple because of that. It's John 13, 34, and 35, in case you want to go read it yourself. But the reality is, where we're at today, we need to remember. Jesus said, if anyone hears my words and doesn't keep them, I don't judge them. I didn't come to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and doesn't accept my sayings has that as his judge. It's the decisions you make that matter. And I think that is so critical for each one of us today. I love you all. I really, truly do. And I really want a great day for you. Enjoy the day and God bless.